What's going on guys, Bank Rubber Games here with more Elden Ring and we're going to be starting the Shadow of the Earth Tree expansion today. Been really excited to get into this playthrough and obviously in comparison to the main playthrough going to have a bit of commentary as well so hopefully that you guys will enjoy that. Uh, just before we get started I've got a few little sort of housekeeping things to do. Before the DLC came out the game did receive an update and they did add a good quality of life feature. Uh, where you can mark new items and have a recent items tab in your inventory which is really cool makes it really useful for getting through the uh, dlc if we look at our character as well you notice our level is very high and all our stats are quite high and i've done this so it means that we won't be limited for what we can use and we'll be able to should be able to test out pretty much every every new thing we come across in the dlc and from the sounds of things, the difficulty of the DLC and your power in the DLC is sort of dictated by a new item, a bit like um, remembrances uh, or memories in Sekiro. So hopefully, um, we'll still get well. We should get a good challenge as well from things that I've seen online from before release. But it also means with our stats that we've got a lot of weapons in our DLC that I'd like to try out because I didn't get to show them in our main, in the main game or the playthrough of the main game. Obviously I might not get a massive chance to show some of these items off just because of all the new items we're going to be messing around with in the DLC but if I get a chance I'll definitely um, play around with some, some of these uh, so you guys can sort of see them in action. But yeah let's uh, sort of get straight into it really. I haven't played Elden Ring for a long time so this is going to be very interesting. Uh, but we need to head over to where Mogwin's uh, boss arena is. So head over to the start of the DLC. Character here. Other than that, nothing seems to have changed. Ah, were you guided here by kindly Mikula? I am Leda. And like you. I was guided by Faith along his honourable path. Touch the withered arm, and you too will be transported to the realm of shadow where Mikula the Kind now dwells. My compatriots are there already. Like us, they have heard kindly Mikula's call. If you can find them, they are certain to lend you aid. Come now. Touch the... I will not be far behind. May we meet again. Doesn't seem like she's got much to say to us. All armor, though. I assume you can travel back to the main game at any point. So, just like normal, we haven't got the map, but there does seem to be a map, map fragment here. I need to change my great rune as well. Definitely a strong opening. I do wonder if we're going to get any great rooms throughout the DLC. Looks like there's an enemy waiting there for us already. Some sort of fort, castle, tower there. Seen that, that guy before release. Does look awesome. Let's go ahead and get that map fragment. Ah, 
That's a good start. Not too worried about losing our runes. Just because where our stats are at at the moment. But yeah, like I said, good start. There is also another sight of grace in the distance here, I think. I think it's just the gravestones. a hefty crack pot near throwing item we saw a little bit in stat before release some of the trailers let's get into these runes and see what they have in store for us pot there. We potentially already made use of our hefty crack pot that we've just picked up. And then a new type of butterfly as well. I know we can make use of Mesmer's flame, so I assume those black flat black butterflies are to do with that. Map's looking pretty big already. And we've obviously got more stuff up here, so I assume this along this edge will get bigger. So I have a feeling Miyazaki definitely lied to us when he said it was the area of Limgrave. Not sure what's going on there. Just have a quick look. Doing too well again. I leave these guys alone. <laughs> Damage to take down. Definitely there is sight of great here. Sight of grace here. Bye bye, doggy. Let's see if I can switch to a value weapon and take these guys down.
Don't really good at AOE anyway. Much easier. There was a guy with a pot on his head that seems to have disappeared as well, so I don't know if that's a random thing or some sort of resource we need to gather. Yeah, this dude with a pot on his head. No mesmer there. There's a fragment of some description there. So here's one of the items, or here's information about the Skadu tree fragment. So we've already got a little bit of an upgrade for our damage, which is cool. Uh, it's only functions inside the realm of shadow. So then we've got something that improves our item discovery. But also says they can be sold for a high price. So I have a feeling these might actually have another use, considering they kind of look like one of the third of the umbilical cords uh, from Bloodborne. I'm not going to worry about selling those for now. But we'll have a look to see what we can do with that uh, tree fragment we picked up. See all our stats in gold there. Makes it nice and clear when you're getting uh, the, the bonus. I don't know whether to keep wiping out that does holy damage because there's a lot of these sort of shadow guys here.
Shadow Realm rune. 10,000 runes. Too bad. and the amount of pots we can break. Oh dear, there's something down there. Something down on that roof though. I'm definitely not messing with that uh, fire thing anytime soon. Just looked how long this episode's been already. We finally really stopped the first area. The start of the DLC will be quite slow. Um, you know, I want to try and get everything for you guys everything that's possible in one in one go round. Is that a new talisman? No, after each critical hit, so if you're good at parrying, that's probably quite an overpowered item. I need to get to high ground so I can have a good look and figure out where we're going next. Maybe above where we started. We can get up here. Definitely want to check out that big doorway at some point. Though. 
this a boss? Guess we'll find out. Yes, that's a boss. <laughs> Going well, guys. But that does look like he's got that new, like, multi shot crossbow that we saw in the trailer. Like the machine gun crossbow. So I'll give this guy another try, and then if he wipes the floor with us, like he just did, I'm going to assume that we need more uh, blessings. damage to me Starts breaking this guy. And he can heal. Okay. I'll give him that. I think we'll come back for this guy later. Looks like he's got um, very always heavy armor as well which probably wasn't doing us any favors so it doesn't look like we can get up here at all oh there's too much choice There. I don't think there's an NPC there as well.
That's when the uh, Science America. We also got another huh. blessing. Lady Leda spoke of you. You're that tarnished. Guided here by kindly Mikola. Won't we all? I am Freya. I once fought alongside General Rudan. In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. Oh, another thing. Did you speak to our dour little friend? If you've yet to do so, have him give you a map of the Cross's whereabouts. You'll find more of them dotted about these lands. They are Mikola the Kind's footprints. If you've yet to do so, be sure to have assuming you would... So, probably be worth figuring out um, who she's talking about. Our little friend there. As if there's a um, a blessing in each one of these uh, sort of stakes. If you've yet to do so, assuming you intend crosses. to trace kind Mikola's path. Of, uh, Mikola. Then it's definitely worth finding those. But yeah, I know this episode has been a bit of a rubbish one. Uh, but I think looking at how long it's been, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Like I said, I know it's been a bit rubbish, you know, very slow episode, just sort of taking our first steps out into the DLC here. Obviously, it looks like there's a lot for us to do. I mean, there's all that massive area up there. There's this big fire guy wandering around. Um, you know, there's probably some stuff in that fort that we explored that I missed. Um, so I think I'm going to wrap this episode up a little bit earlier. And then in between episodes, I'll come up with a bit of a plan for what we're going to do. And um, might even go back over that fort just to have a good explore to see if there's anything I've missed. And then I'll show that off at the start of next episode. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, like I said, I know it's been a bit of a slower one. But if you have enjoyed the episode and looking forward to the rest of the DLC being up on the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for more. It really means a lot from you guys. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching. Always appreciate having you guys here. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode.